Uh, let me ask you something. You worked, you worked Memphis, and you worked Pensacola, which is called Continental, and you worked Los Angeles. That's when you first started, correct? Yes. Yes. And and that is that's a territory that you don't hear that much about, especially anymore. For good reason. A lot of guys didn't go there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and you work Smoky Mountain. Mm-hmm. So sure. let's talk about Smoky Mountain just a minute. You work for Jim Cornette. Does he have an explosive temper or what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you knew Jimmy a, long, a little before I did because I met Jim in in Memphis too during my first run. That was uh, or was, yeah, it was the first one I think, or, or might have been the second. Uh, it was right before he and Midnight went to uh, Louisiana. But yeah, Jimmy has always had that explosive temper. Well, as long as I've known him, anyway. And I think he's a smart guy. He really he is. is a smart guy. Uh, but taking things to the extreme, I believe, is a sign <laughs> of genius uh, in a lot of people, you know, because they are so meticulous. And, and well, you, you know what I used to tell him, right? What? I said, check your blood sugar levels. Because I think he has... He, does he have diabetes or he has, say, he, but anyway, it runs high. And when he runs high, especially when he gets hungry, yeah. oh, he's, he's insane. I pulled him off a guy in Smoky Mountain when I was doing the commentary there. He had a guy that all he was doing was dragging the cables for the camera. And yeah. he got mad at him and choked him out up against the wall. I said, Jimmy, stop, 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 please. Yeah. That son of a bitch, I'll kill that. I said, Jimmy, come on, calm down. Yeah. I, I mean, hair trigger temper. And yeah. He, and he'd be sitting there and all of a sudden he'd just go off. Yeah. I yeah, love he, Jimmy to death, but my God, he just, uh, he needed to change that attitude just a little bit. And it's a wonder, I've, I've said this many, many times, it's a wonder Jimmy hadn't been shot or something or hit in the head <laughs> with a baseball bat or something. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's too much. That, yeah, but but that's what makes him him. Uh, without that temper, without that that um, um, <laughs> fire, he's not he's not the same guy. He's oh. he's got everything the way he wants it. He's he's, he's got to have ADHD or whatever it is. We have to have everything in line, and he, he knows what he wants to do. I'm going to call him and tell him. I'm going to call him and tell him you said that, and I'm going to okay. send him. But I'm going to send him a tape of this too, just in case there's some kind of discrepancy on what I said. A, a Jim Cornette going off an explosion. It didn't match events. I mean, uh, Vince Not McMahon even. didn't match. Didn't match Cornettes. No, didn't match Jim Cornette. Uh, you know, and I saw Cornette one time, uh, which, which again, we and I, I have nothing but love, admiration, respect for Jim Cornette. We all know that. So, but whatever, but. whatever clip. Well, let me say whatever <laughs> clip you play. Uh, I saw Jim in, in a meeting one time. Uh, it was in a production meeting. Everybody was coming in, and I think it had been a long night and traveling, get in there, and Jimmy's kind of sleeping. And uh, Black Jack Lanza did something. Um, and and Jimmy woke up, and he said, Yeah, listen, you son of bitches, you mother effers, and I'll, I'll kill every one of you in front of everybody, in front of Vince and everybody. And Vince didn't say a word. He knew he knew Jimmy was high strung. He knew Jimmy was was about had it with everything, and he they were poking the bear. And, and I think Vince recognized it, didn't say anything. But you know, again, every time Cornet went off, uh, he had a he had a valid reason. It, it and it, I would say in his head, but when he wanted something done, he wanted something done the way he wanted it. And if it deviated, well then. He, he expected it to, to go right, and, and there was no, no excuse, no explanation. But once again, he's driven, and that's what he wanted. So that's, just, that's the way he got it over. 